Now, um, regardless of any project you are doing, you are going to come across um, structures. So you are going to have to design a platform. And most of the time in any EPC project, you will need to design a platform, manufacturing industries, projects. In fact, in almost all fields, you might meet yourself. So um, I have a 2D drawing in my related files. So I'll open it. So this is the platform we aim to design. So we have a top view. Um, it's made of um, an HE beam, then um, another set of HE beams. Then you have um, square pipes that are used to link um, both sides. So um, then you have the height is about three meters tall. So you have the front view, you have the side view. So let's get to it. So the first thing I usually do is I go to my plan 3D folder that is over here. And um, I right click, I create a new folder called structures. Structures, I click on OK. Then the next thing I do is right click again on structures and I name it um, maybe platform 3d drawing you can give it any name you don't have to be precise or use the same thing i'm using so i click on ok so you wait for the interface to boot up okay so now i can click on either f7 or i just uncheck this so I usually like using a white interface. If you like to use a different color for your drawing space, you just type OP enter. Then you, you come over here to colors. You make sure you're on display. You go to colors, then 3D parallel projection. You can change it to black. Apply, apply, okay. So, but I don't like drawing on black, so um, I'm going to revert back. So I'll type OP again, or I could also do Ctrl Z, any one I prefer. That's on doing what I just did. So um, 3D projection, uniform background, go straight to white. So I apply, apply, then close. So now, um, usually what I do next is I I XREF my 2D drawing so I can see it on my drawing interface. It's always good to just draw from what you have your 2D drawings. And you can also draw offhand if you if you can. So I'll right click. Um, okay, just know you just type XREF. XREF, go to my drawings locate my folder go to desktop pc a mark okay so go to my related files so i will extract this now you need to be careful i'm not going to extract as an attachment i will extract as an overlay then you don't need to specify on screen you want it to come in at origin zero 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 so I'll go click OK. Okay. So to see my drawing well, I'm going to do zoom, then extent. So I always prefer to draw on the southwest view. Then I notice my universal coordinates is moving with me. So I'm going to type UCS icon no origin. So here we have it. So um, we have this interface. Now you might find out that this is a little bit faint. So what I usually do is I'll type early enter to bring up my layers palette. Then um, you can just drag it to have a good view. Then allow docking and correct. So whenever you need it, you can come here. So now um, you notice your zero layer, that's the default layer. 
is not exactly black so i'm going to make it black so it's going to be visible so you can see we can see your boundaries very well so um, now let's go ahead and interpret our drawing um, okay over here we're going to have a plate and this is not well drawn because from the top view you are going to see um, you are going to see this plate so let me just measure it to just be sure okay it's 250 so it's going to be a 250 by 250 plate then was my footing di enter was what i used was my footing um, So my footing is about 300 yeah so let's make sure all our drawing um, draft settings are well placed so i'll go to object snap i typed ds enter to get here so i'll go to object snap make sure everything is checked then for 3d i always check the first three and 3d object snap yeah so that's why i noticed that i didn't get my snaps while trying to measure you understand over here so we have 300 then you can have a footing of about 400 above the floor 400 above the floor so let's get to it so the first thing i'll do is to randomly um, draw a rectangle simulating the plate so i'll type at 250 comma 250 so i have it here you can just duplicate it just to have an extra one so i'll go to my layer and create plates so i'll make it color red then another layer i might need will be columns so it's also going to be red okay so now i can put it on the layer i want okay not yet so i'll move this position it at the center it can be trickish um, okay it's difficult getting the center so i'll make good use of a trick i can just type l enter take it across yeah so with this i should be able to get my drawing it pop up so I take it from the center and I once again I try and get the center so now um, we have this done you now go to your structures make sure you are in structures then settings okay not yet you can choose to be in um, outline then we go to our plate now because we've already drawn the path for the plate i'll go to existing polyline and use a thickness of 6 mm for the plate click create then just click on this and press it's my enter key so you can see this has been created so i can easily move this to the plate layer so now this has been done i'll move back to 2d wireframe then um, move this up by okay you can see i'm not going straight so it's risky so i'll hit my f8 key so by 400 so just to confirm di I take it from the base downwards so i have 400 mm so next thing i would like to do is uh, my footing so your footing is um, just to be safe i'll do a rectangle at 300 comma 300 so this is a bigger rectangle so let's check out our footing setting okay i have it at default 300 300 okay the depth i'll make it 400 so concrete leave it a concrete astm so i'll come here go to my footings 
make sure you're under structures go to my footings then um, specify point of footing so um, it's usually trickish so let's see okay so from the center it goes down so I can undo this um, so move okay you don't even need to move just move this upwards by 400 to be careful um, why do I have that little clearance so let me just confirm okay so um, one other thing is I don't like drawing with dynamic imputes so I'm going to have this put off okay these are just things I like using so I'm going to come in either hit F12 or you do that to show it on your tools palette. So um, let's move upwards. Okay. So we are going up on the Z axis. So you can see this is more like it. So I we click on my footings. Then it's already popping up. So I have uh, 400 at the center. So let's check it out. Go to conceptual view, click hold your shift key and check it neatly. Okay, it's perfect. So let's go to 2D wireframe. Um, okay, so now, um, now that you have this done, make sure you're in Southwest view again. I would now I light this my footing. I light my plate. Then um, look for a base point that I can use to position my footing. You understand? So I will study the drawing, and I think I might be able to go with maybe this edge. Okay, it's taking me to the middle. Let me see if I can go get any other good points. Okay, just strictly the middle. So will I have this point in other parts of the drawing? I think so. Let's give it a try. So okay, I actually typed C enter. So let's highlight it again. Then C O enter. Okay. So let's click on this just be very careful yeah okay position it here again then position it here so let's see how it looks on our 3d conceptual okay this looks good so now we have our 2d layout i would now check out my drawing and um, what height is this going to be this is 400 this is 6 mm so 3000 3000 minus 406 so 2594 so this will be 2594 so i'm going to come here um, go to my settings go to my member settings then i'm going to go for an he beam you can see we have a lot of inbuilt members that can be used so i'll go for he beam make sure my point of connection is at the center then i'll go for okay we do unfortunately we don't have a 150 by 150 he beam so i'll just go for the 160 so let's go ahead now i usually like drawing this with the line model with the line model so let's go on click on members at the top here be careful you do 2594 upwards so now um Let's check this out in 3D. Um, 
shift back to shape model um, di i want to be sure it starts from the top of the plate one has to be very careful so di to this okay i have to five eight it so that means this goes up this needs to go up the point of intersection was from the bottom so let's move it up by um, 6 mm then I like this put it on your columns layer then you can copy it use the hedge to position it all around okay so let's check it out um, I'll change back to maybe outline view move to conceptual okay this looks good 